score between the men and the title. So who's the experts' money on? Ahola. Fleming. Ahola. I think Fleming. <laughs> I can't wait for those two guys to go. But first of all, it's Raymond Bugmanis and Colin Bryce, one of the marshals in the absence of Sven Carlson. And what a final event the organisers have concocted. This 200 kilo weight, first of all, over 25 metres. Bugmanis moving well. Round the giant Hummer all-terrain vehicle. He's got to move this 300 kilo tyre out of the way. Big push there. And now the 3,000 kilo truck over 20 metres. Now, Oles, Filippi and Boyer have finished already. And it's still Bugmanis pushing for all he's worth, driving those legs. He's got about five metres to go. Bugmanis has given everybody a lot of pleasure in his performances here. He finished at 45.87. Oh, dear me. But that is the lead at the moment. And Colin Bryce did pretty well, too. We're now down to the last four competitors. Samuelson on this side, spectacular at times in his performance. Olafsson on the far side, consistently good. They're in third and fourth place overall. Olafsson on his way, Tristan cheering on the Swede. Olafsson first, that's a surprise. Now for the tyre. These tyres from earth moving giant trucks. But Samuelson flipped it over, that was incredible. Now for the last 20 metres, Olsson just behind by a calling, Samuelson 110% as always. Oh, he's going to get the glory in this heat, he's guaranteed to finish in third place overall. It's certainly going to be the fastest time. Olsson is just behind, 43.80, Kristen confirms the fact he's in first place. Tremendous efforts, rewarded by the crowd. The glory this time goes to Magnus Samuelsson, rewarded by his wife, Kristen. What a great effort. This is it. Everybody at the Prima Donna Hotel can't wait to see Ahola and Rasmussen to decide the world's strongest man title. It's all come down to the very last event. And these guys have never let us down. Over the last few years, the climax to this contest has been enthralling. Magnus Werner Magnussen's reign is about to come to an end. And in a few moments' time, a brand new name will be acclaimed the champion. Now, Ahala just has to beat Rasmussen. And he's doing it in style at the moment. This is incredible. He's absolutely flying. Rasmussen's struggling a little bit. Samuelson's time is not an issue here. The main thing is to get points ahead of Fleming Rasmussen who I think is destined to finish in second place. Rasmussen has definitely blown up. It's Ahala grinding out the last big effort against a man who's led for most of the final. As the sun begins to set in Nevada, it's also bringing to an end Fleming Rasmussen's title hopes. Yuka Ahala has done it. Rasmussen looking dejected in finishing second place overall, but it is his best ever performance. Massive cheers for both men, and Rasmussen goes straight away to congratulate Ahala, who's already been hugged by Hanalina. Ayuko, just listen to this. You are the world's strongest man. Unbelievable. <laughs> You're Finland's first ever as well. Is yeah. that extra special? Yeah. And I think I'm I'm the young, youngest. I made a couple of mistakes, and uh, that was... Uh, Yoko's chance and he took it and uh, that's how it is. The role of honour is complete. The big prize goes to Yuka Ahala of Finland.